Last week, Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty fame had a few thoughts on the atheistic worldview, specifically the fact that without God, good and evil does not exist. I'll make a bet with you. Two guys break into an atheist home. He has a little atheist wife and two little atheist daughters. Two guys break into his home and tie him up in a chair and gag him. And then they take his two daughters in front of him and rape both of them and then shoot them. And they take his wife and decapitate her head off in front of him. And then they can look at him and say, isn't it great? To not have to worry about being judged? Isn't it great that there's nothing wrong with this? There's no right or wrong. Now is it, dude? And then you take a sharp knife and take his manhood and hold it in front of him and say, wouldn't it be something if this was something wrong with this? But you're the one that says there's no God, there's no right, there's no wrong. So we're just having fun. We're sick in the head. Have a nice day. If it happened to them, they probably would say something about this that just ain't right. You are correct. The imaginary victim of this crime would probably think it isn't right. I know that's how I would think. I read about terrible actions like this happening, and I often think crimes like that are horrible. But it is not because I believe that there is a God out there telling us what is right and wrong, but I have decided what is appropriate behavior for somebody living in a civilized society. But wait, I hear you saying, these hooligans were just doing what they thought was acceptable. Why do your thoughts about what is appropriate get to justify how others should behave? One word, harm. I have touched on this before in other videos, but in a society where humans depend upon each other, the amount of harm or help an action does determines its morality. The raping, murdering, and castrating of this family would be, no matter how you look at it, harmful to the well-being of this family. That is why society looks down and judges members who do actions that harm others as unacceptable and does what it can to curb or punish such behavior. Another issue Mr. Robertson has mistakenly touched upon is the fallacy of consequences, or argumentum ad consequentium. He seems to think that since actions like the ones he described should be punished by an external force, such as God, or else they escape eternal justice, then it is better that God exists, and no one should be an atheist. So if it is better that God exists, then he does exist. This makes no reference to what the universe actually is, but rather what he wants it to be. Sadly, the universe does not care what we want it to be, and I would rather be right with an answer I do not like than believe the lie just because I like the answer it gives. Oh, and as a little aside, I love how halfway through this little tirade, he changes the point of view of the attackers from a random third party to describing the audience he's addressing, saying, then you do this, to this family. Switching from what the imaginary attackers would do to what his audience and fans would do to this atheist family. Finally. Let's take this imaginary scenario and twerk it just a touch. Say all this happens, then the criminals turn to God and ask for forgiveness, and are immediately hit by a bus or some other fatal accident befalls them. According to the religious beliefs that Mr. Robertson follows, not only would they not be punished, but they would be given an eternal paradise and avoid any sense of justice. That is what the actions of your so-called benevolent deity, as he put it himself, something about that just ain't right. Thank you.